Hi, welcome to Apache JMeter tutorial. Today we are going to see how to install JMeter in Windows platform. Okay. See, already I have downloaded. I will show you how to from where you have to download. Just you need to open Apache JMeter this site. There you will see releases, download releases. Okay. So these are the mirrors. This giving from this you can download. Okay, so latest version is a JMeter 3.0, which requires Java 7 or later. So you can download from binaries, not from so. So you can download TGZ format or ZIP format. See, I have already downloaded the ZIP format. Okay, this one, this one. So once you extract here using the ZIP format, you will see different different folders. See. Here use a backup, bin, docs, extra, slip, license and photo printable document. So we will see, once again we will see uh, folder 1. See here you don't have any backup folder. See, here you will see bin, docs, extracts, extra, slip, license and printable. But coming to Apache JMDL 3 point, they have given backups. These are the quick save. What are the given? Why backups means? Once you are creating any JMX file, it will be automatically saved into backup folder. So you can uh, once you are saving here or somewhere, it will automatically come into backup folder. So this is they are giving. So this is having in extra you will see a number of uh, file. Okay, jar files anything you can see in lib folder you can see number of jar files. Okay. So it is having a JUnit uh, framework they are following. So once coming to here, <coughs> they have given report generator. See, they have given report generator properties file too. You can generate different different report. Okay, this one I will show you in the coming uh, tutorials. So here, <coughs> user property. These are the properties files are included in JML 3.0. Once uh, we will go back to see folder files. There is no properties file. They are giving only user upgrade and system. There is no report report properties file. See, they don't have any report. So they are giving newly added this one. In 3.0, they have added report. Okay. Okay. So if you are using a Windows platform, just you need to double click this one. It will open the JMeter. It will take some time. See, it is giving a different different. JMeter is open. So in 3.0, they have developed GUI is a very easy GUI. It's a beautiful GUI they have developed. So if you are adding anything, different different icons they have added. Okay, let's show you one CSV data set. This is added. So this is they are made this icons are this GUI is very beautiful. Coming to here errors, you see here previously it is not there. So once you added assertion, see like this they have added everything they have created very beautiful. JMeter view result tree, see like this they have added everything and they have developed very beautiful. You can use this one. For your performance testing, see previously if you click on this one, then only it is opening. But here it is see as a default it will display. Previously, if you click on this, then only it will it is displaying. Presently, they have displayed this as a default. Okay, you can check this one. Everything they have developed new GUI compared to previous versions. Okay, so like this, you need to install from binaries GFR TZ. Yes, uh, you need to extract the folder. Just extract this one. You will get folder. It will have in backup folder. Everything JMX file will be saved in this backup folder. Whatever the test plan you have generated. Okay. okay I am reviewing. So in the next uh, coming classes, we will see what is the test plan. So what is the use of test plan. So and uh, how you can use third groups. I have given already ramp up period. Regarding ramp up period, I have given in my videos. See, this, this are the, I have given ramp up period. Very, you can use ramp up period 
as per your requirement suppose you want to run for uh, one second two hit uh, two seconds four hit like this you can perform using ramp up thread for each one thread if you are using 10 threads then only one thread will hit two or three four requests to the server within one second or two seconds you can go through this my video okay you will get more details about ramp up period this is the main important topic which is a very important j meter so that only you can create proper test plan or proper request so that you can test that one web service rest applications whether it be web applications anything database you need to have a knowledge of ramp up period then only you can run your test plan very easily and you can expect proper result and I will show you I have created dashboard report in 3.0 they have given I will show you how I have created simply they have created like this you can generate this one ok every report will come ok so like this you can uh, generate report ok in uh, coming classes we will show you how to generate the dashboard same like load runner ok yeah thank you thank you for watching the video please subscribe if you have any doubts you can uh, comment on my videos thank you thank you very much